On this Wellness Wednesday, how a local ice cream shop is making sure everyone can enjoy the products, as we mentioned. Yeah, Action News Now reporter Alejandro Mejia Mejia uh, shows us why, even if you feel left out because of your food allergies, there are plenty of options out there to help you. Savor Ice Cream, a local ice cream shop in Chico, is celebrating its two-year anniversary of being open here in Marion Park. What makes this place different is they push to have allergy-friendly and nut-free ice creams for people to try. Savor Ice Cream owner and main chef Shenlin Zvek told me where the idea of creating an allergy-friendly shop came from. It kind of originated with my husband who's been gluten-free for about 20 years. Um, then went through a period with uh, our kids of being dairy free. You have a neighbor, you have a cousin, you have a friend who also have similar allergies and just seeing them light up with the fact that they can have, you know, ice cream again. Zvek says they serve vegan and dairy ice cream options and always ensures there is no cross contamination. Obviously we have dairy items and things that have eggs, so we're very clear with our team on how things are processed. So like on the serving side, the dairy ice cream has its own like scoopers and water to scoop with. And then the other vegan side is completely separate. And then on the kitchen side of things, we have a machine that's just for vegan ice cream and a machine that's just for dairy ice cream. So they're never cross contaminating. Dr. Anton Dodson, a local allergist, told me why cross contamination is so dangerous. Cross-contamination can be a, a big deal, um, especially because people have their guard down because they think they just ordered something that they know is safe. But cross-contamination has occurred and they can react at the most unexpected time. So it's like a secret little time bomb that can go off. With common ice cream ingredients including eggs, milk and nuts, just to name a few, Dr. Dotson says there are some reactions to look out for if you suspect cross-contamination. Severity runs the whole bell curve from not much, just a little oral itch or tingling or mild rash, all the way to potential anaphylactic shock. And the biggest deal is just cleaning utensils and work surfaces between batches. Zvek told me making sure her products are safe is personal to her. There's so many moments I think people with allergies might go out to eat with friends or a loved one and they have to kind of it's like this body tension of like, am I going to be able to eat when I get there? And just to like know when they come here that everything's like safe for them and we take really good care of them in that way. In Chico, I'm Alejandro Mejia Mejia for Action News Now. Well, the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases says about 8% of children and 11% of adults have food allergies. You know, we were talking about this. Neither one of us has a no. food allergy, but I do. Um, I'm vegetarian. Correct. I have been my whole life. Right. And so I always say it's really cool when you go to a restaurant and they have a section of different options mm -hmm. just because it kind of feels like, like she was mentioning, mm -hmm. you kind of feel included. It's, it's exciting I, to have an array of options. Otherwise, it could be challenging, right? Definitely. Bring mm. your own broccoli. <laughs>